Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Business Solutions After 2020 Pandemic. My name is Darina Shine. I'm your hostess, and I am here today because I was requested to do a video about some ideas to consider after a pandemic in business. So today, I'm going to get jumped right into the segment. Today is April the 11th, 2021. <laughs> 2021. And um, we got to take that little pause right there because many of us, 2020 just passed right by, you know. But anyway, today our segment is going to be about when is a good time to begin a business? What are some business steps that one sh could sh or should consider in 2021? And some basic business ideas that make you say, hmm, maybe I should try that. So let's get into the segment. When is a good time to begin a business after a pandemic? Um, the first thing I want you to consider is that believing in yourself at any time begins the process to the confidence that you have within you to do so. So say, for instance, if you want to start a business after a pandemic, go for it. During a pandemic, before a pandemic, you know, many of us were already in business and fought through the pandemic, you know, um, as we grew our new small business. So there was a lot of trial and error in that, as well as stress, you know. Um, the world needs so many new ideas right now to start its rotation again. Your idea could be the multi-million dollar concept that brings about something important that no one has even thought about yet that you are already doing for yourself. So have faith and believe in yourself. And then just ask yourself if you are ready. That's how you know it's a good time to begin a business because there will always be something we have to perfect or if that is even a word or practice prior to doing something as great as we can get it. So accepting that we are in the benefit is the beginning stages to starting your business today. So make it happen because dreams are stepping stones to the reality that prompts you to take your mind into an action to even bring about a physical planting of an idea to produce something to manifest. So only you can begin your business concepts when you are 100% ready. Okay, the next question. What are some business steps one should consider in 2021? You know, I've been in business developing since 2006. And what I say to you is de determine what the world needs right now. That's the best place to start. That's how I did it. What we do most when we complain is the greatest building platform to begin a business. And, and it sounds weird, but you begin a business based on something that is not available to you and you make it available and you perfect the game when you are complaining. <laughs> so choose what will be included in your business idea. Um, here you want to meet with business consultants. You want a mentor um, that is going to be a trusted person you can depend on to share your vision with and who, who will provide you with great ideas. Make sure you do trust this individual or this group or team that's surrounding you in this time that they won't sabotage the idea because they didn't think of it first. They won't take it personal. They will be objective and they will be supportive to you um, because this is where the seeds are going to be planted. And just like a farmer, the seeding is the most fragile uh, beginning stages to connect the root to the ground that's going to allow the idea to grow in business. So you need to be very careful when planting the seed, okay? And that's even in your mind. Also, do as much research on the topic of your business choice or idea that you can. This way, you are sure to know your competitors. You're sure to know what model of business you're going to fall into and what benefits come from that 
uh, portal that you're moving into, whether it's sole proprietor, individ- uh, uh, nonprofit, for profit, and all other areas. Um, and build from what the world is most in need of. You know, we can't reinvent the wheel. So let's get into it and find out what needs to be done and then go about doing it. Because if you learn to do what others don't want to do, you will never be in competition. You'll always have that that area where you can be a strong success. And then be as real as you can about what you are willing to do as your entrepreneur. When your name is on it, you want your name to represent who you really are, okay? Now, if the goal is too big, it may be too big to even master it. If the goal is too small, it may be interesting. It, 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 well, it may not be interesting enough to even get it off the ground. So you want to balance the success with the truth about who you are in the way that you live every day and plug that into how you're going to look as an entrepreneur and uh, plug it into what you're doing in your business type that you wish to pursue. Now, some basic business ideas that I want to introduce here today, and I have three interesting ones I feel are interesting. Things that make you say, hmm, I think I can start that business, and it's not really a lot to do. A, personal shoppers. Many people are not interested in going out shopping anymore. So interior designers, interior interior personal shoppers, you can make a lot of money here. Because many of the times you go out and or you go online and you shop and you get these nice items, you mix and match them, you get them at 75 to 85 percent off. So you're only paying like less than 10 to 15 percent for the item. And then you take what is remaining, what needs to be replaced, and you go to a restore and you sell them. You go to a consignment shop, you sell those items, and when you get the commission back, you can then plug it into your business to go out and make more money um, by providing another client base with another uh, interesting service. And this can be done with fixing up a kitchen, remodeling, um, just the area around the house, beautifying, interior designing, and it's all at the very minimal cost to start up. And then tutoring online is another idea. Many people will not be going back to the brick and mortar school system that we have been used to. So online, you have an opportunity to help someone um, graduate on time, go to train for to become an STNA or whatever their desires are. And then what you can even do is pre-record. So as you're pre-recording, you're, you're up in your game and you're making sure that what you're um, advertising and what you are um, giving your audience is true knowledge and you could stay up on it and you could do it at your own pace. And then when a person needs the tutoring uh, lesson, you go right to it and bam, there you go with uh, a pre-recording that you yourself know is is beneficial to your audience online. Um, and then thirdly, greeting card designs. Um, for all my artistic people who really, you know, put all their heart and passion into doing something relative to what they feel their artistic flow is going to be. There are so many different websites right now you can join for basically free to start up a car stock um, project that will not only make someone's day, it can keep creative artistic flow growing through you and keep you in business for years and years to come. So these are just a few ideas that I came up with um, based upon the request of uh, when is a good time to start a business uh, after 2020. And I just want to reiterate that the good, the best time is to start when you know that it's time, when you just feel, I think I can go out here and I can be a success and I can try something and don't be afraid to fail. It's okay. 
Um, I've fallen several times, and those who know my story know exactly what I'm talking about. I fell so hard till I had to come all the way back, you know, but it's it's possible. And, uh, you know, the steps that we should consider, you know, being careful and making sure that we really, really know what we're, we're getting into. Just the idea, the concept, not even that we have to know how to do it, but that we want to do it. Once we do that, then everything else falls into place. One of my seniors told me in my adult day service, she said, well, if a person does not want to do it, guess what? It's never going to get done, no matter how much you pay them, no matter how much you ask them. So you got to know when it, when the time is right. And uh, just create some business um, ideas that you would like to do. Go online and research and find out what's out there and say, hmm, maybe I can do that. It's simple. It's something I'm already doing. Let me try to see if it can go into a business. So if you are interested in more information about beginning your own business and you need advice, fresh ideas, or just an ear to hear your thoughts of your business concepts, just again, inbox me at this email address, scales to success LLC at gmail.com. And again, we're having our um, business meeting greet in Columbus, Ohio. And if you're interested in meeting up with us to share your business portfolio or ideas of a, of a business plan that you may have, I'm here to assist as well. You can give me a call, 330 956 0511. Thank you so much. Have a great, great Sunday and we'll see you next time.